Okay, so we're going to factor the following expression. And if you guys know this, this expression is a little bit different than the, one we've, than the ones we've done before. In this expression, uh, where we have ax squared plus bx plus c, your a value is greater than 1. So our a value here is 3. Uh, this expression, we can do something to all of the terms here because they all have something in common. If you look at all three of these terms, we have 3x squared, we have 15x, and we have 18. They all have a greatest common factor that we can factor out. And if you notice it, they're all divisible by 3. So we can divide each of these terms. Let me rewrite this. So we have 3x squared plus 15x plus 18. So these here can all be divided by 3, and we can factor out that 3 from this quadratic expression. So if I divide everything by 3, we're going to have 3 times uh, this. The 3s cancel out here. We have x squared. 15x divided by 3 is positive 5x. And then we have 18 divided by 3, which is positive 6. Okay, are we done? So whenever we get to a point and you're factoring, you want to ask yourself, is there any more factoring that can be done? So we, have, we factored out this 3, but now I see we have a quadratic here. And I want to see if we can factor this even more. So let's see. Uh, we can, we're going to look for the products. So the factors of 6, and we're going to see if we can create that pattern. So the factors of 6 are we have 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. Now, does any of these factors give us the sum? So we do, we'll look for the sum of 6 or the product, wait, nope, nope, the sum of, 5 or the product of 6. So which two of these factors add up to 5 and give us the product of 6? And that would be 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 times 3 is 6. So we can still factor this and leave it even more. So let's we have that 3 here, but now we can factor this into x plus 2 times x plus 3. This is the fully factored version. And you can always check your answer by multiplying back out. Okay, now